What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're heading to Nashville, Tennessee for the first time. We have never been there before. We're gonna be taking Delta Airlines, but we're gonna be going economy this time. So it's gonna give us a chance to really compare economy to first class because I really wanna see if like, what's the real difference? Or like really, what's the difference? Is it just the money or is it maybe because you get fed on first class? Who knows? Let's go. It's at like 8 30. It's currently like 4 right now. The airport is not that bad. I don't see the 4th of July rush yet, but who knows? They might show up in the afternoon. All right, security is only about five minutes. See you guys after. Security only took like five minutes. Not even five minutes, four minutes. It's not that busy right now. It's kind of shocking. The TSA officer told us though it's probably going to be really busy tomorrow. So they're bracing for it. So we tried to go into the Sky Lounge, the Delta Sky Lounge, and uh, we got booted. Apparently we showed up a little too early. I think an hour early. Basically, you only can enter the Sky Lounge uh, three hours before your flight takes off. Not when you board or anything like that, when it takes off. The guy was like, hey, um, dude's gotta, gotta come back in an hour, big bummer. Down into the Delta Sky Lounge. It's busy in here. There's a lot of people. There was more people than last time. If you guys watched that last video or that video when um, I was going to Washington D.C., way busier. But you have to start it off with a mimosa. We got some food. Let's sit right there. Got me a turkey club sandwich. Got me some pasta salad. Some gouda. Pasta salad, I believe. Come with some cucumbers, some wild rice, and some spinach artichoke dip. It's tasty. All right, so I got a lounge brownie. That's different. The food is pretty much the same. It was like exactly the same. So it's kind of strange. The brownies aren't the same. Show you guys something. Stock up on the brownies, yo. All right, we're on our way. We're boarding. This thing is small. It's kind of scary. Leg room looks pretty good. It's not bad. I think it's full. Cool. There's a lot of people on this plane. Should be taking off soon. Made it to Nashville, Tennessee. How to see this airport, it's it's interesting. It's really small. Not a lot going on in here. Very quiet. I guess that could be good in some ways. Got jet blue over here. Just a very basic airport. It's definitely not a Washington DC airport. This whole parking garage is for all ride
ride shares, basically Ubers, Lyfts, taxis, buses, hotel shuttles. Guys, no one said anything, said anything about uh, Tennessee being hot and humid. It's about 84 degrees and it's humid, man. It's hot. Not fun. Definitely something we have to get used to. Minnesota's not like this right Like I mean, Minnesota's humid, but not like this. This is where we're staying, guys. The Fairfield by Marriott. Just got here from our Uber ride. It smells nice in here. The Gulch. I like that. All right, we said we're staying in 721. Man, these hallways are pretty creepy with the yellow wallpaper and the floors. Kind of some twilight zone. All right, here's the room. Let's start off in the bathroom. Let's walk in. Wow, this is a real nice walk-in shower. Woo, nice. Got a microphone picture right here by the toilet. Perfect. Nice sink, nice mirror. I think they definitely just renovated this place. Got a little fridge, coffee maker, got the microwave. Come over here, got a nice mirror. Check yourself out. Make sure you guys are look, make sure we're looking sharp. Got your own like little closet right here. Watch this. Look at that. Got the TV, nice little desk, or not a desk, but little thing to put our clothes in. Here's the bed, good size bed, definitely a king size. Oh, nice blue wallpaper. And you come over here, this is like your little living quarters. You got a full size couch. Got your desk over here and another big TV. Nice chair. This is where all your serious business goes down right here. Let's see if we got a view. Nope, the only view we got is a parking lot. Nothing special. Let's do a little recap for the day. Nothing to report on the Sky Lounge. Uh, overall experience was good. The food was pretty much all the same. I mean, the same, like they had the same exact thing they had um, the last time we were there. The only downside to it was the front desk people at the lounge. They were uh, kind of rude to me and my wife. Uh, when we first got there, the, the guy that checked us in told us, hey, I'm gonna check you guys in already. I have all your information. So when you guys come back, just walk right in, see me, wave your hand at me and go on in. So we were like, okay, cool, we'll do that. So hour later passes by, we come back. There's a guy out there standing in the front and maybe there's like about five people in line waiting to go in. So we didn't even think of it. So we're like, okay, the guy told us to walk in. So we go and walk in. For some reason, the guy in the front's like, hey, 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 you guys can't walk in. And I'm like, no, um, the guy inside at the front desk said we can walk right in and just wave to him and let him know. He's like, he's like, no, you can't just see there's a line of people here. And we're like, yeah, we see a line of people. Your guy that works inside told us we could walk in and he just gave us the hardest time about it. So we were like, okay, you know what? Forget it. We'll just stand in line. No big deal. And as soon as we got to him, he was like, okay, you guys can walk in. We were like, okay, dude, thanks, man. No problem. He was trying to keep the peace, apparently. Six people in line, or five people in line, he's trying to keep the peace. But, like, that's kind of his problem. Like, if somebody gets rowdy, that's on him. That's not on us. Yeah, I, I don't know. That was, I thought the guy was rude. You gotta keep your cool sometimes. You can't, you know, you gotta be the bigger man. You just gotta keep your cool. So let's go over first class and uh, economy. Take economy, guys. Short flights, one to three hours, just do economy. It's the way to go. If you're gonna be going about five, four to five hour flights, first class, that would be the way to go. If you're going the four to five hour flights, you just get that extra leg room, you'll get fed. But if you're doing just one to three, economy is the way to go. You just get on the plane, get your free drink, and next thing you know, you're landing already. Works out perfect. That's it for today's video. If you guys haven't, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Give my videos a thumbs up and turn on that post notification so you guys don't miss out my future content. I'm Novice Adventurer. I'll catch you guys in the next one.